rolling. Let's get this one. Hopefully this is what you're saying. There we go. Hello Drum Nerd family. How's it all going out there in wherever you are? In wherever you are. Um, it could be Kosovo, it could be Atlanta, it could be, not Atlantis, Atlanta, Georgia, could be Amherstburg, Ontario, hey, it could be anywhere, but wherever you're watching this from, whenever you're watching it, thanks for checking it out, and I hope you're well. So, we are breaking this linear fill down, this is the fourth version of uh, a list of previous ones that I've done, so, we're doing three, six, seven, the three and the seven are the odd numbers here, um, and the six and the seven are where we start taking it across multiple voices. So the three is very, very standard, very basic, kick right left. Now for all my lefty guys and gals out there in the drum community, just turn this around uh, in that you'll probably be playing it with your left foot as your bass drum and then your left to right. But for all intents and purposes, kick right left, kick right left on the snare, kick snare, yeah? So just hold that down, get that worked out and under your belt before moving on to the next bit. So. The next bit is the six, and that's where it gets a bit spicy because we take that from the snare onto the rack. So we're going right, left, right down onto the floor, Tom. Ooh, hello. And left back on the rack, Tom, before doing a double kick on the kick. So right, left, right, left, kick. Rack, floor, rack, kick. Rack, floor, rack, kick. Yeah? enjoy the notation. I would have put it before I did all this analytics, but screenshot that. So scrub back into the video and, and screen grab that so that you know what to do. Now the seven is where it gets again a bit exciting, but it's a bit odd and uncomfortable because you're closing it out. You're not fully finishing. It feels like you've gone, obviously you've gone a bit more than the six, but you've just gone shy of the eight. So your body might be fighting you there a little bit to close it or to not go too far, but stay with it. You are Right, left, right, left, foot, foot. I'm flamming that last one. You can play a single note if you want. I'm a fan of the flam. So, but that, that, that voicing for me personally is snare, rack, floor, floor, kick, kick, flam on the floor. I flam on the floor if I'm running it as a continuous loop. It just breaks up the snare because uh, the snare can become quite a, an ending or a starting kind of sound and put together, I'm just not the biggest lover of that, but if you were to be playing this as one pass through, just then it would be onto the snare to close it with. To me, that snare close just kind of definitely ties it all up in a nice neat package. I'm a fan of that, because that definitely gives you a conclusion to it. Whereas the floor leaves it a bit open for something else to happen. So me, I'm flaming on that floor, when I'm looping them in concession, or if I'm tagging this onto something else, onto another fill, onto somewhere later in the solo or the fill, whatever you're doing. Um, so use your own discretion. You can flam on the floor or you can flam on the snare. My flams are left hand accent flam, so it's a left flam, grace note on the right, coming down big on the left hand uh, to set me up for the right hand on the next pass of it. So we'll take that really slowly and uh, that will be the conclusion of the video, really. I don't need to teach you anything else. Right? That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. It's going to take a bit of time to get your foot working in the space between the hands. Um, so you've got, you've got to be able to it's hard to explain, but there is a there is that space, and the space is almost more important than the notes being played, but that space is gonna be where you can fit your bass drum, and you want it to fit there evenly and at the same value as your hands are playing uh, if you want this to be consistent and sound quite nice um, and uniform. It can become something that's pretty tricky because you might panic and go, oh my God, there you go, or it might be too slow, and it'll just, kind of mess up the soup a little bit. So take it slow, 
really work through it, break it apart, and it is just That's all there is to it. Again, scrub back, grab a screenshot of the notation that'll be on the bottom there. And uh, that's all. That's it, that's all. You know, there's nothing else I can teach you here. Um, I've been doing a lot of filming for the band and lots for this channel, so I apologize if I may seem burnt out right now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get this, uh, get this done, get it edited, probably jump in the bath. That's what, that's what your man Colin likes to do. I like to take a bath. What are you going to do, you know? That's all there is to it. Um, so, that, <laughs> there you go. See? You, you click off. Go away. This is it. The video's done. You've learned your bit. You don't need to know about my, my hygiene methods if I prefer the bath or the shower. But if you do want to know, I'm a bath kind of guy. There you go. So, that's all there is to it. Hopefully, you're staying well and safe wherever you might be coming at this video from in the world. Uh, so, until next time... Stay safe, be well, take it slow, and keep your stick on the ice.